for two battles going on today at a Polk County courthouse, the legal one and an emotional one. Families clash during a hearing for convicted sex offender Jennifer Fichter. She's serving 22 years, but is now asking the judge for a reduced sentence. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez here to show us the drama that happened in and outside the courtroom. Gloria. And Cynthia, the tension was definitely high inside the courtroom, but it got personal when the two families met outside. All rise, please. The legal fight happened in the courtroom. I've had people who have committed murder that have received less in prison than Ms. Victor. The personal one was outside. I don't hate you. I don't hate you either, but let me tell you something. Is your son alive? Is he alive? Is your son alive? Is he 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 alive? Jennifer Victor's mother trading jabs with the parents of one of her victims. Your daughter put us in a very bad predicament. Really? We really? Really? Yeah, you Stop. made a decision. Stop. You made a decision. We had to make a decision. Good. Well, I'm glad you can live with your decision. The heated exchange happened at the end of a hearing for convicted child molester Jennifer Victor. The former Polk County teacher is serving a 22 year prison sentence for having sex with three of her students. Now she wants her sentence reduced. Her attorney trying his best to explain her behavior and deflect the blame. The young men found something in Miss Victor where they wanted to be with her. But the prosecutor reminding the judge why she's in prison in the first place. She was a teacher here in Polk County and she had sex with three of her teenage students. It didn't take the judge very long to make up his mind. I'm going to uh, deny the motion uh, to mitigate or modify the sentence and the sentence will uh, remain uh, as it is. Now keep in mind, Fichter still has unresolved cases in Hillsborough County, and we, of course, will continue to follow those. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News.